Welcome back everybody, Liz for Trauma here. I'm going to go over something a few people have been asking of installation of the Mogori mod and we'll go over the alternate ending mod uh, from the Steam community. I'll have links for everything in the description below, but uh, first and foremost, uh, make sure you check me out over on Twitch. I'm uh, streaming at twitch.tv at Liz for Trauma. Uh, make sure you go thank all the creators for these mods. Um, I did not create these mods. I'm just showing you how to install them uh, from the Steam community and the McGurry mod. Uh, the first link I'm going to have is going to be this. It's going to bring up the alternate fantasy mod. Now, we're going to be clicking on this one. Uh, you're going to want to download. And you're going to need to have the McGurry mod is what I use. Uh, I'm not really sure what the Memorial Engine is. But... I'll go over how to get um, all of this, but this will be the first one that we're going to click on. Something interesting, uh, this needs to be the FF9 Steam version only, and make sure you have plenty of room on your C drive. I'd say a good 20 gigs, as uh, the Maguri mod alone is 11 gigs. Then you have to consider the game of FF9, because we're going to be moving it onto the C drive, and then we have the uh, alternate fantasy mod. So let's kind of get into this and see how we're going to do this. Uh, first and foremost, I'll kind of show you guys how to move it over. So you're going to want to go to your Steam, right? And over here on your Steam, you're going to want to go in the upper left corner. And we're going to go to settings. And it's going to pop up a whole nother screen. And what this screen is going to, you want to go down to downloads click on Steam library folders and normally it's going to just be program files um, like your D drive unless you just have one drive then you should be fine but since I had everything I tend to keep the operating system by itself um, I had everything on a D drive so you're going to want to add, add a library folder and you're going to want to click C drive and then whatever you want to call it I have Steam library folder uh, once that is added, it will show up. It will say zero here because you won't have anything installed. So you're done with that. Get rid of that little box. Nope, we're going nine. Um, now, now I'm going to teach you how to move it over. It's not really that difficult. You want to right click on Final Fantasy IX in your Steam library. You want to go to Properties. It's going to pull up this whole... Another little box, right? And you want to go over to local files. And then what you want to do from there is go to move install folder. And then it's showing D because right now it's on my C drive. But if you did it correctly, it'll say move to C drive because it's the other open file. Now, let's see if I did this for like a different game. Let's go to FFA, right? Properties, local files, move. It's going to show the C. So this is what it's going to show. But I already have it over there. Um, so it's going to show you, because this is on the D drive, it's going to show you what you're moving it to. Let's just go back to it. Properties. So once you have it moved over to your D drive, or your C drive, rather, um, like I said, it's going to show C drive. Um, that's basically all you need to do. It might take a little bit of time. Um, and then once it's moved over there, you want to kind of play. Make sure everything worked well. If it didn't, you might want to verify integrity of the files, which you can do that by going to Properties, Local Files, and you can verify the integrity, or you can reinstall it. I had, I had someone told me they had to reinstall it, which unfortunately, I guess sometimes it happens when it moves. Something got lost on the move from one drive to another. But it is what it is, and that's just how you quickly do that. Now that we have that done, because... I initially did this on my D drive and it did not work. So that's why I had to move it over to the C drive. And I didn't really read very much on Maguri, but I'll actually show you. Um, here is going to be the page. It'll be linked. Um, it'll give you this right here. You'll click on it. It'll take you to Maguri site. I'll also give you the Maguri site. Um, but then that would kind of teach you how to get to here. It will probably take you to the homepage. You just click on the install. Um, my link I'm going to have straight to the install. Uh, when you download it, 
it will come and need to be extracted from a zip file. But if you notice right here, it, it kind of tells you this is 11 gigs. It needs to be extracted on the C drive. And I guess you can move it over, but it didn't work when I moved it over. So I just left everything on the C drive and then it worked fine. So that's kind of why I'm going over this in case someone else has an issue. And the Megoria mod basically does a ton of things. It makes it look really good, gives you some UI interchanges, battle interchanges, world map textures, videos, and a bunch of different background shaders and things changed. Now the Memoria, uh, also we'll get into that, how to kind of change some settings and whatnot. So once you download that, I'm just gonna close this out and put that over there. So now we need to get the Mogure mod. So once you extract it, right, it's gonna come into a folder. You're gonna wanna extract it, extract, C drive. Uh, once it's extracted, you can go ahead and get rid of that because it's extracted. You're gonna wanna make sure it goes to um, your C drive, right? Now I'm gonna tell you how to get all this in here. You're gonna need to find, when you open it and you extract it, you're gonna need to find this thing. It's called the EXE file. Now when you double click on it, it's gonna open up the installer. When you click on next, right? Well, not yet. I'm going to teach you why not yet. Because what you need to do is tell it where it needs to go. Because this is going to be just downloaded in like your downloads and like on your C drive. But you need it over here to install. So this is the Final Fantasy IX folder. Right? So an easy way to get to it instead of looking through everything. Go back to your Steam library. Hit properties. Local files. Browse local files. That literally will bring up the same thing I had, which is your FF9 uh, Steam folder on the C drive. Now that we have it here, we can start to install it. And because we already extracted it, now we're going to bring it over here, install it on this drive. So you double click, hit next. It may look different. I've seen a couple different um, versions of it. Basically what, what you wanna do is when you install it, you want to go to this path, this address here, because this is where it's gonna get installed to, which is the literal FF9 folder. So when you click on the top here, it's gonna highlight this, just control C or copy it. That way, when you open this, the installer, you go next, it'll ask where you want it to install, right? And then you're gonna just paste that in there. You can also modify um, it's going to go through basically what you want to have installed. And you can say, I, I just want the Maguri mod. I just want the video. I just want the soundtrack. You can kind of pick and choose what you want. You'll hit next and it'll install. Since I already have it installed, uh, it's going to save a bit of time because it will take a little while. Just so you know, it will take a while because it's 11 gigs it's going to be installing. But again, make sure you paste the address to this file folder when you install that. So hopefully that basically is it for the Maguri mod. Um, then all you do is just launch it. And when you launch it, it's going to be a whole different, a whole different thing, right? A whole different, uh, basically starting option screen get orchestral music 30 fps this is kind of just what it starts with you can click and choose whatever you want um those are basically cheats on cheats off speed on stealing you can choose your sound what monitor you want it what resolution uh, your battle speeds turn-based battles i haven't messed with any of that so once that's done make sure you play it make sure it works um, once it all works and everything, then we can move on to the alternate fantasy. So now I'm glad that that has worked. Now the alternate fantasy is going to be pretty similar in a way that we're going to go back to this page, the first page, and we're going to click on the alternate fantasy. 
and it gives a pretty good instructions right here basically of how to install it so we're gonna click on that we're gonna download it it's gonna come it's gonna come as a zip file right we're gonna have to extract it so once we extract it we'll basically have it um, a file right a file folder and once we have that file folder it's pretty easy to follow the instructions here but you're gonna basically want to take it and put it into the ff9 folder now be careful because if you open it it has its own memoria and you do not want to just pull this in you want to pull the actual folder itself this actual folder because if you pull the contents, this the Mogori mod is gonna make a, a memoria. Mm, that's not the right one. This one is, and this basically is gonna let you have the options to change things that you want. Basically, a zero is off, a one is on, uh, to kind of make some things easy. And I'm gonna get down to the importance of this, but basically, once you have it extracted, you're gonna put it into the ff9 folder see once you download zip file alternate fantasy folder inside the game folder delays directly in it yep right here and then basically once that's done uh the mcgurry mod will take over and do the rest of it and you need to add this at the very bottom now i initially this is basically to get the alternate fantasy mod like beatrix and all that to work i originally had this at the end and beatrix wasn't showing up i have a separate video of it um of recruiting her so i was wondering like why was it not working so then i was like you know let's just try it it seems silly but you know programming tells you what's first is what's played first right what's done first so i basically took it from the end put it in the front and it worked now i also suggest making a backup copy before you mess around with any of this you know you just basically copy and paste this somewhere in like a folder so you have the original in case something goes wrong if you start going going ham sandwich like changing a bunch of things like garnet font one will put it to ps1 and say you forget how to change it and you don't like the ps1 font then you can you know just swap them out but that's basically how you turn that on and off your battle fps is how fast your battles will go there's so much things you can change i wouldn't do it too crazy if you want to mess around with things maybe do like one after another um but i wouldn't go too crazy on something you don't know you're doing you might mess something up but that's why you make a backup copy so hopefully that helps everybody um no i don't need to save anything so now you have it in here alternate mulgurry it's on the C drive, right? And if you want to mess with something, there's your memoria. Let's close it all out. Links will be in the description. Let's fire it up, shall we? Let's see how it looks. And as you can see, I have Beatrix in this mod. So hopefully that helps everybody. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment it below. As always, I am on Twitch at uh, twitch.tv slash for trauma. Come check me out. Let me know what you think. Please, um, I'm not a master at mods or anything. I just, some things I've learned and i just kind of wanted to compile everything in one video for everybody so they kind of knew where to go and hopefully this works for everyone if you have any questions let me know if i can't answer it hopefully someone else can the community is great for ff9 it's a great final fantasy game hopefully you enjoy it as always rock on game on take care hope to see you guys on stream have a kick butt day <laughs>